Hello everybody, today we are going to look at ascariasis. So ascariasis is caused by uh, Ascaris lumbricoides, which is a giant roundworm of humans. So roundworms are also known as nematodes, and nematodes are usually uh, uh, in the phylum nematoda. They are the largest and most common parasitic worm in humans. They are prevalent worldwide and more so in tropical and subtropical countries usually in areas where sanitation and hygiene are poor. So this is the life cycle of Ascaris lumbricoides and as you can uh, see here the uh, female worm is uh, larger and longer than the male worm and but, and, but the male worm can be uh, distinguished from the uh, female worm uh, by their curved tail end. So life cycle Adult worms, they live in a uh, lumen of the small intestines. A female worm may produce uh, 200,000 eggs per day, which are passed uh, together with the feces. Unfertilized eggs may be ingested but are not infective. Fertile eggs embryonate and become infective after 18 days to several weeks. Depending on environmental conditions, optimum being moist, warm and shaded soil. So after the infective eggs are swallowed, the larvae hatch, invade the intestinal mucosa and are carried via the portal, then the systemic circulation to the lungs. The larvae mature further in the lungs, which takes 10 to 14 days, uh, penetrate the alveolar walls, ascend the bronchial tree to the throat and are swallowed. So upon reaching the small intestines, they develop into adult worms and adult worms can usually live for one to two years. <clears throat> so now we're going to look at the morphology of Ascaris lumbricoides, worm, adult worm and egg. So adult, uh, adult female worms may attain a length of up to 40 centimeters uh, while males they measure between 15 to 30 centimeters and the, the uh, tail end of male worms as you can see here uh, if you look to your right, you will see uh, an, the, an image of a male adult worm. And as you can see at the, the tail section here, uh, the male worm has a curved tail. Female worms don't. So in both sexes, the mouth is surrounded by one dorsal and two ventrolateral lips. Uh, below this uh, a diagram of, a, of an adult male and female worm, uh, you can see the head-on view of uh, the adult and at the dorsal here, uh, this is the dorsal lip and and the bottom here, bottom sides, ventro, two ventrolateral lips. So the, the female uh, is a prodigious egg producer and the uterus contains up to 27 million eggs at a time. That is a lot. Fertilized eggs are oval, two round. Uh, if you look at the bottom here, you will see a, uh, an image of a fertilized egg. This is rather oval. So oval to round in shape with a thick outer shell. This fertilized egg here has a thick outer shell. There is no ascarocyte in the shell and embryo cell in unfertilized eggs. So ascarocytes are any group of glycolipids that contain the sugar ascarizo found in some nematodes or nematode worms. Clinical manifestation uh, people infected with Ascaris are oftentimes asymptomatic, meaning they do not show uh, any symptoms. But if uh, symptoms do occur, they can be light and include abdominal discomfort. Heavy infections can cause uh, intestinal blockage and impaired growth in children. Other symptoms, such as cough, are due to the migration of the worms through the body uh, when, when they uh, when they are ascending up the bronchial tree to the throat and then swallow, that, that's when uh, symptoms such as a uh, cough uh, appear. Diagnosis is by identifying Ascaris eggs in a wooden in a stool sample using a microscope. 
So this is a very uh, easy way to, ident uh, the, to identify Ascari's eggs. It is uh, pretty simple and you usually uh, require normal saline, a wooden stick, uh, a microscope and a fecal uh, specimen sample, stool sample. Uh, and because uh, eggs, sometimes uh, eggs may be difficult to find in light infections, so a concentration procedure is normally recommended. Treatment of uh, ascariasis uh, through the admi is through the administration of an antihelminthic uh, medications, which are uh, drugs that rid the body of parasitic worms, such as albendazole and mebendazole. These are usually the drug drugs of choice for the treatment of Ascaris infections. With that, I thank you.